Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be repairing a Anycubic Mega S 3D printer. Let's get into it. Alright, well here's the Anycubic Mega S 3D printer. So, let's fire it up and see what happens. There's a switch on the side here. Alright, so you can see right here it says T0 sensor abnormal. And you can see the hot end measures 0 out of 0 degrees Celsius. And it should actually be about 20 degrees, it's about 20 degrees down the basement here. The bed thermistor is reading properly at 20 degrees. And that is set to 0 degrees. So, if you were to set this for heating up, for example, the bed would be set to 60 degrees then this would display as 20 degrees out of the desired 60 degrees goal. So, this one right here says it's zero, so something's wrong with the thermistor. I guess we'll have to try replacing that. Alright, so now we'll begin removing the screws. So we're going to remove these two screws, and also the four screws that hold the hot end, and then there's two screws at the back. So, I'll begin doing that. After removing those four screws on the frame here, then I have this fan holder off here. And then next I'll remove the four screws that hold the hot end in. Alright, so I now have those four screws removed. So this hot end should be loose. There is a clip that's going to come out that looks like this. It's like a metal clip. That's to hold the hot end up. So you won't want to lose that. Alright, so now I got the hot end out here. And now we can unplug the thermistor. And we'll also unplug the bed heater here. There we go. And then we can pull this old hot end out. And then to get this tube off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist this uh, tube clip part off here. So I'm just going to twist that right off. Might be a little bit tight. Might just have to take some pliers and just loosen it. But this one's nice and loose. So. There we go. This tube should come out. There we go. There we go. And now we can just pull this tube out here. And now what we'll do is we'll go over to the extruder motor. Alright, so now we're over here at the extruder motor. And we'll just push this clip down here. Then we're just going to pull up. And then what we're going to do is there's a few nylon tie straps. Over here, there's one right here. We're just going to pull this tube out here. Pull this tube out here. And there we go. So I'm replacing this tube because my replacement hot end comes with the tube. But if yours doesn't, then maybe just keep this tube on the machine. So, so now we can take a look at the hot end here. For whatever reason, there's some pretty weird plastic stuff. There's, um, that's very, very weird. Just coating all this very very weird coating the uh, all the connections and then if you kind of see that's the um, remains of our thermistor there that white wire and there's another thin wire that goes along there but that is uh, been broken off so that's why I was giving us no reading I guess because there, there's no thermistor left anymore just wires I guess so all right let's re replace this all right so here is the replacement hot end I got this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description where I got this. So, we'll open up the bag here. And here is our new hot end. And yeah, so first of all, we'll route the uh, tube again. So, we'll feed the tube up through this center hole here for the hot end. And then we'll go through... One nylon tie strap and the other nylon tie strap, and then we'll put it. Then we'll put the tube into the extruder motor by just push pushing down until it's, the tube stops. There we go. That's good. All right. So now we can begin putting stuff back together. Now we've got the new hot end here. So we're going to take the clip. We want to make sure the hole is facing away from the camera here, toward the uh, back of the 3D printer. So. We'll put that clip on. Alright, so now we can start putting screws in. 
I guess the one thing is the orientation of the of your hot end. I would recommend putting the wires, just twisting it so the wires are facing toward the connector here. So that's how I'm going to do it. I got the hot end back on and everything. So now what I'll do is I'll plug in everything. So we have the heater wires. What I'll do is I'll plug that in to the heater plug here. There we go. And then we have the thermistor wires. And we'll plug that in. We'll go behind the motor, these uh, fan wires. And then we'll plug that in also. There we go. And all these cables are routed nicely, so nothing should touch the heatsink. So that's good. And now what we'll do is we will put the our uh, fan holder or back on here. And we'll put those screws in too. All right, so that's everything back together now. All right, so we got that hot end all back together here. So let's turn on the printer and see what happens. And now it's not giving us any error here. It's now giving us 23 out of zero, which is good. And it's probably a bit warmer because I was touching it. And then my um, the heat from my fingers probably warmed up a few degrees. And then the bed is 21 degrees here. So uh, perfect. It works here. So let's level the bed. And then let's see if we can do a test print on this. All right, so it looks like our uh, bench is done right here. So we'll have to let this cool down. I heard that this face wants to be completely cooled before you can remove the 3D print. So, okay. So, okay. And uh, good. So let's try removing our part here. Perfect, just pop right off. The bed is 28 degrees right now, so that should be good. So, very good. Now we'll compare this to my Tebow Tarantula's benchy that was printed in the uh, with the same uh, quality and stuff. So let's uh, compare those. All right, so here are the Benchies. The one on the left was from the Anticubic Mega S, and the one on the right is from the Tebow Tarantula. They both look about the same, but the top and bottom layers do look a bit better on the Anticubic Mega S. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And I'll see you next time.